Hi everyone, I'm Donovan, Head Director of Training and Breeding at Canine Control. Just go get the door. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm Donovan. You're watching Canine Control TV. And this week I got something really special for you. It's my good friend, Mr. Joseph LaMarca. Wait till you hear this guy's story. See this? Long Beach City by the Sea? That's actually a, the name of a movie that was made about his life. And he's an interesting character and he's been in love with dogs as long as I know him and with childhood friends. How you doing, Joey LaMarca? As Dom said, I've been with him since I was a little kid. Always doing decoy work, taking the bites. You know, it's a true love of mine. That's why I got the paws tattooed on me. One here for you, one here for you. You know, so hopefully you stay tuned to the show and you watch some good stuff. Take care. I always promise you guys a behind the scenes look at the real life of a professional dog trainer and the fascinating characters that I meet here in New York, in the metro, greater metropolitan New York area. I'm gonna tell, about to introduce you to one of the most complicated and fascinating people that I've met, besides talented. In all the years that I've been in New York, I haven't been known since I was a little kid. As a matter of fact, his life has been made into a full length motion picture, and his father was portrayed by Robert De Niro, and it was made about our town, the city by the sea, the city of Long Beach. Okay, and I'm introducing you guys to Joey LaMarca. Joey LaMarca was a, a childhood friend of mine and we grew up training dogs together. But unfortunately, as it did in my life, drugs led Joey astray, which led him into an 18 year prison bed. And I'd like Joey to tell a little bit about his story and uh, we might be able to make Joey's dream happen today, which he told me was that the whole time he was in prison, he was dreaming about being able to sleeve dogs again. So we're gonna to try to make that dream happen today for Joey. But I'd like Joey to tell you a little bit about what happened to him, about what he's doing with his life today, what his dreams and hopes are for tomorrow, because I think he makes a fascinating story. Right, how you doing everybody? Joey LaMarca. You know, as uh, Dominic said, uh, we grew up with one another. I think I'm, I probably met the entire Donovan family when I was maybe 13 years old. And so, uh, one way or another, we've always been part of one another's lives. And the dogs have been part of that, of course, you know. Uh, my body's paid the price dealing with Dominic all these years. You know, between uh, ripped open testicles uh, and, how about and, and the shoulder surgeries. Surgery? Between a Bouvier fracture in my shoulder, going in for two surgeries on the shoulder. Between uh, Rodan, the German Shepherd, breaking my rib cage. Between Nero almost breaking my arm. My body's paid the price, man, dealing with these dogs. And I love it, you know. I'm so excited to do a bite and ready to let them bite me on my bare arm. You know, just to feel it. Uh, unfortunately, you know, my life drifted in the wrong direction. Uh, drug addiction, some twisted morals. I was a lost kid. And I ended up in the prison system for uh, almost 18 years. And uh, it was there that I really uh, found myself and learned that I took a lot of things for granted. But while I was in there, uh, you know, two things I missed. One, of course, Long Beach, and two, uh, Dominic and the dogs. I dreamed about coming home to do a bike. I entered a dog program while I was in the prison system. That turned out to uh, be a farce in my eyes because anybody training dogs next to Dominic uh, just seemed incompetent, to be honest with you. You know, uh, just hanging out with him through the years, I learned so much that when I would, was exposed to the dog training in the system, I realized they were uh, pretty ignorant to what dog training was really about. And so I haven't taken a bite in, in, in about 18 years. I'm fiending for that bed. Uh, but while I was in the system, I discovered that I could use my life story to uh, help teenagers who were displaying signs of antisocial behavior, help young adults who were addicted. And I started a program called STAMP, 
which can be seen at stampchange.wordpress.com and that's where I go into various institutions like high schools, rehabilitation hospitals, group homes, detention centers and I preach to the kids about the dangers of drug addiction, the importance of education, peer pressure, bullying, you know the topics that are affecting uh, our young adults today. Uh, but besides that, you know, today we're here to deal with dogs, you know, and I, I wouldn't want to do anything else. I don't want to That's interrupt you. How long are you sober, Joey? I'm sober uh, October, since 1999, October 21st or 23rd. I can't remember the exact date, but it'll be 15 years this October, you know. Uh, not, a, not No cigarettes, no alcohol, no drugs, nothing. 100% clean life. And uh, what we were talking about today, which is funny, is that all of us are clean, which is amazing because we were all pretty out of control. And, uh, you know, Dominic's clean for many years I'm clean nine years nine years 15 years you know our cameraman is clean so uh, five years know, yeah so it's uh well you know we're a good circle here and uh we're, you know making dogs our life you know so I would deal with dogs every day if I can that's why I got the paws tattooed on me you know I got the paw on my hand Schutzlin here on my forearm you know I'm ready to go like I said I'm let the, I'm ready I let the dog bite me right now without the sleeve I don't even care if it gets ratings I let him bite the face I don't care <laughs> I'm ready to go right now <laughs> whatever it takes this is a real New York character you know? Joey's a really talented guy. I remember, like, he could do crazy stuff. Like, he could do a backflip off the boardwalk rail while he was intoxicated and land on his feet like a cat. This is a, this With is the a dog guy. on me. Yeah, this guy yeah. This is a man of many, many talents, I have to admit. Unfortunately, the same thing happened to him that happened to me. Is that we were led astray by uh, alcoholism and drug abuse, you know, as were a lot of our friends. Today we were just talk, talking that we're lucky enough to be alive. A lot of our friends, Joey came out of prison in 18 years and found that probably half our friends are dead already. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, you know, we're here today to be able to celebrate life, to you know, share with an audience our passion for dogs and dog training, and like I said, to make Joey live his dream that he thought he was never going to get to do again, which is to catch a dog on a sleeve. So we're gonna do that in two minutes because I happen to have a volunteer. I have a dog named Sweet Pea, who's a 13 or 14 month old Donovan Pincher, young dog, just has a little bit of training, but he's definitely sufficient to make Joey's dream come true. And again, plug your, one more time, tell him about your program, your mentorship program. Yeah, that's stamp, uh, stampchange.wordpress.com. You can go on there, there's about a 25 page manual that provides a brief synopsis of uh, you know what I talk what I talk about on stage to the kids. I mean, there's an entire core curriculum on there. So if you'd like to go on there and check it out, or you want you know a kid uh, you know that's astray, you know, contact me via the website. I mean, I'll help a kid one on one or speak to a, a whole group. You know, whatever. That's my passion. Dogs and kids are my passion. The two most important things in life: women, kids, and dogs. In what order? I'm not sure yet, brother. But those are the three most important things. You know, right now is dog. And that's kind of interesting because um, I do the same type of mentorship and I speak at jails and institutions and correctional facilities and uh, hospitals and mental hospitals about uh, my experience uh, before and after with uh, drug and alcohol abuse and uh, what my life is like now as a sober and functioning individual in society. And uh, to find that Joey and I have an unchanged relationship after so many years and we still share so many things in common, I just thought it would be fascinating for people to see um, this relationship, meet this individual who has overcome so many obstacles, who has survived the almost unsurvivable, in my opinion, and has somehow um, come out better for it. And uh, I personally am in awe of the guy, the fact that he survived this um, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, and uh, has become a stronger person for it. Um, and that's why I have no embarrassment whatsoever to highlight him on my show, and uh, also to support his cause of spreading his uh, word of mentorship and self-improvement for uh, the youth of uh, the world. Thanks a lot. Okay, Joe, come down, get his attention. Watch it. Yeah, calm down. Hey, what's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Run back up the stairs. Who's that? 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 One more time, Joe. Come down again. Right there. Hey, who's that? Ready? Ready? Get him, get him, get him. 
As soon as he clamps the jaw too, he's on it. He ain't giving up. Watch this. Watch this. Are you ready? Out. Out. Come down and get it, Joe. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Go right there now. Right there now. Back up. Jump through. Get him. Good boy. Now let him dig in a little deeper now. Let him give him a little. Pull tight when he does that, then pull tight. There you go. <laughs> ah. Enjoy yourself, Joe. You're having fun. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy, Sweepy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Oh, my back, my leg. Oh. Oh. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Good boy. Like he's 200 pounds. Good boy, bravo. Good boy, bravo. Good boy. Pull him up a little now, tighten it. Pull him up like that. Feet up, right? Feet up, feet up. Feet up. All right, let it go and run in the bed. Let it go and run in the bed. Good boy. You got it going? So Joe, was it as much fun as you remember it? That's the best, that's the best in the world. I can't even get the smile off my face, I miss that. I can't believe his power. It's so incredible. I felt like I was dealing with a 200 pound dog. You know, you, you, have to, you guys have to understand, before I went away, the Donovan's pincher didn't exist. You know, so he was dealing with other dogs and in the process of coming up with his own dog. So I've done bite work with Bull Masters, Rottweilers, Pitbulls, Belgiums, Dutch. I mean, I've done bites with all the OVAs that broke my shoulder. And be, being exposed to Donovan's Pincher is just unbelievable, man. You know, I heard about the dog uh, when I was away, that he was creating his own breed. And I knew it would be something magnificent, but you never really know until you actually experience it. That was like a train hitting. I mean, there was one point where he caught me a little low and I felt like the bone I mean he was on the bone good I knew if he was twisting his head the bone would start bending if he, if he gets your raw arm without the sleeve you're done he's snapping he's snapping the bone and I mean you can feel it and listen he's a young dog and he's about he's about a, believe it or not he's only he was only 73 or 74 pounds in his good way and since we were just breeding him and he wasn't eating too well for a little while I'd say he probably lost almost 10 pounds and you know what's crazy is yesterday I took him for a walk and he was fine. <laughs> he is a stable dog. Yeah. They're not all as forgiving as this one, but yeah. Sweepy, and he's also still a little well, bit. I wouldn't too. want to take him for a walk again. <laughs> not after that. Joe, I'm glad to have you on my show. I love you. That's Joey Lamarca, City by the Sea. Nice Look guy. it up online. And, and what, one more time, what's your website? Uh, Stampchange.wordpress.com. Take care, guys. That's the best. There you go. See you next week. Hi everybody, and thanks for watching Canine Control TV. I'd also like to say a word here about animal rescue. I'd like to thank the countless animal shelters, humane societies, and private citizens who have fostered and helped to adopt out the millions of animals that remain in our shelters today that have no permanent homes. 
And I'd like to take this moment also to encourage you to please consider adoption as an option for your new pet. And don't forget to subscribe to our show at youtube.com slash canine control TV show. Also, you can check us out at our website, caninecontroltv.com, or look us up on Facebook, Canine Control TV. Thanks a lot again for watching, and don't forget to adopt. Not my show! Productions.